Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. I want to jump right in and <clears throat> give you what I received. Uh, I want to take a step back to December when I saw the Christmas ball with the net around it. I believe now that that net is the five and the uh, G that was supposed to be rolled out on Christmas Day. It was not. It was delayed a couple of times. I know one of the reasons was because the airports were concerned. Interesting, huh? I wonder why they were concerned. For those of you who understand those things, if you have any comments, comment, because I don't know exactly what that's all about. But the Lord did show it to me, and perhaps there's something that uh, could be gleaned out of this. So if you put something down there, I'll share it with everybody. I did get that. Along with that, he gave me Psalm uh 25 verse 14 uh, where he talks about plucking our feet out of the net <laughs> no weapon formed against you will prevail period that's how that works on January the 6th the Lord showed me a bunch of forks lots of them and a couple of demon heads now that means that a, a lot of enemies are planning an attack uh, I also saw waves of darkness, so perhaps some power outages. Um, uh, showed me a scorpion. You cannot see scorpions unless you have a black light. Scorpions are sneaky and they bite very hard. So I'm just put it, putting that out there, you guys. Uh, oh, and again, I'm going to throw out the rocks that I saw in a very clear vision. Uh, Jesus has shown me these rocks at least four times. And it, it, this is so fascinating, you guys. I cannot even begin to tell you. It's just amazing. These rocks are coming. Uh, and they will be thrown down by him. Uh, and he knows those that are his. Just keep that in mind. Uh, also, I saw a bunch of planets. I, I do not understand that one yet. Uh, but I'm going to put it out there. Uh, and I talked to you about the massive amount of angels that I saw. And remember the portal in the sky, the opening and how I saw the little wispy things and how there were just a few the first time. The second time there were a lot more and these wispy things were just whipping away up and down and found out those were again angels. And they were joyful angels. So I saw that again. Only this time, massive amount of angels. So on to the uh, beautiful thing that I was given last night. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to tell you something else. Um, uh, the Lord also showed me bracelets and a Jewish star. Bracelets are indicative of a wedding. The Jewish star is him. It is his lineage. The lion out of the tribe of Judah. Uh, okay. So, it is time for that wedding. We all know about that, right? Okay. Let me make sure that there is... Uh, and when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Matthew 2.10 he is that star. All right. I want to make sure. Oh, I also want to talk to you about the statue in front of the UN. Did you guys get a glimpse of it? If you didn't, go look it up. They took that statue down. Okay. In the Revelation ch uh, chapter 12, verse 2, it has a, uh, a beast like a leopard, feet like a bear, mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave it power. Just something to think about. You can go look at that statue. Some of you probably already have. Okay. Uh, let me see what else I can talk to you about. Okay, I talked about the rocks, the several planets, the Jewish star, the wedding. Um, I saw the shooting stars again, which I talked to you guys about. The other thing that I received, and this is what I, why I came on here today, I received this one last night, 
and it was like being taken when these particular visions happen it's like being taken up in a a cylindrical tube of t is the only way to explain this and what i saw were just swarms of stars absolutely just gorgeous beautiful beautiful it's like being up in the universe in god's creation and all these stars and then i saw a crown so you guys as i have mentioned many times before the splendor of a king i am absolutely convinced we are on the cusp of all of this all this is coming to its fruition um okay also one thing that he continues to show me jeremiah 7:28. But you say unto them, This is a nation that obeys not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receives correction. Truth is perished and cut off from their mouth. <sighs> Sound familiar? Yeah, yeah. As in the days of Noah, so will it be in the return of the Son of Man. Okay, so the stars that I saw, uh, they are divine messages. They're messages of hope. And in the book of Revelation, it talks about how we will see those stars before the great and notable day of the Lord. The crown that I saw is the crown of Jesus Christ. He is the king. Jesus Christ is king. The crown defines him. And that is what he was rewarded with, was his crown. Okay, you guys, I have more to share with you. But that's all that I've got for a moment. I will be back on and share more. Okay, peace out, everybody. And talk to you soon.